Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and I'm going to be starting to do a new series of videos over the next few weeks and months about Daisy Expansion. Um, I'll put a link in the description below the video to my videos about how to install Daisy Expansion on your remote and a local uh, PC server. Uh, however, I just wanted to do a quick video on how you can um, reset quest progress for individual players. Um, and then what, what you need to do, and I'm going to show you this on a um, on a local server, so it works the same on a remote server. So, if you go into your server, um, I remember on your remote server, it, it'll look a little bit different because you're probably looking at it through FTP or looking at it through the through the file browser. But you'll have all your your mods, probably not as many of this um, installed, and you'll have installed expansion, obviously. And then you want to go into the config folder. Now, this can be called lots of different things. It could be called config. It can be called profile. Sometimes it's called settings. Um, it has lots of different. Th but when you go into it, generally what you will see is the names of lots of the mods that you have installed on the server, but without the little at at the beginning. So this is often where mods keep their settings once they've um, fired themselves up and they've they've gone through the start finish cycle sort of once. And so if we go into here, we can see we have expansion mod. You'll see that. Then you'll see you have all these different settings. Then you'll see quests, and then you'll see player data. Here we go. So in your player data, this is where it has the information for each player. Now you need to know their um, UID in order to um, reset individuals. But generally, you probably want to do this because you're testing mods, um, you're testing quests, and you'll want to sort of reset so you can start and go through them again. So it's probably only you as the admin that, that have created it. Um, but again, you could look at the date and, and see when that is. And so if I wanted to reset the progress, I would just delete that file there. And then for that cap that particular character, when I log back in, um, all the quests will not be completed. I can start again and I can work through. So one of the things I'm planning on doing with Daisy Expansion is um, making a set of um, quests that you'll be able to install on your Daisy Expansion for on your community server or your local server so you can work your way through it now if you know of any preset already done quests that are up to date um, it's really important they don't rely on other mods as well so that you can just install for example daisy expansion and and it will use the vanilla items and the item from daisy expansion um, for things like uh, what you have to do and the things you have to find and the rewards you get and also the loadouts of the various npcs in in the uh, involved with the quests then let me know uh, in the description below the, the video you know put some links there i have found a few but they tend to be either out of date or they rely on other mods or sometimes they can be a little bit questionable with with some of the quests you've got to do with the um with the language they use the uh, the, uh, the subjects they address but i'll let you find those but anyway Hopefully this has been useful. If it has, and if you want, you've got questions about expansion, please let me know and I'll add it to my to-do list um, of video tutorials to make. Anyway, that's enough for me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.